part of the show. I would like to invite six of you, uh, which names are Stephanie, Wolfgang, and Andrew, and George, and uh, Pedro, and Rosa, up on here on stage. What's more for you? What's my face? Thank you. 
to the map, if uh, something interesting comes up because we have a draft for 50 people, right? You said some 10 for the country, uh, 30, 40 countries. Yeah. So if you do the map, that, that, means, means, yes, that means that you have very few of the creative teachers in each school. So it means that this must be often a very solitary and lonely job to be creative in a place uh, where you work. And so I think that coming here and being all together must be very, very, you know, inspiring, you know, meeting other people. It must really, really make a difference. And it's my first time on stage. So what I've seen out there is already on my shortest drop, what I saw in this room. Absolutely incredible. So, you know, I don't have really much to add about the role of science in school because my, my thing as a professional is the same, or as a professional scientist, is the same as yours as a professional teacher. I think we're on the same way here. So, um, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. So, next in line, Pietro Santa Clara. They're doing a great job. <laughs> Becoming a positive in that state. Oh, wow. And <laughs> You are the CEO of Shaking of Style, who is a funny name for funny something, I guess, and also your professor at New at the Nova University at the top, right? And so my question for you is, what is, in your opinion, the role of science education, preparation of future leaders? Well, I'm probably going to be qualified person to you can answer that because I'm just a, a lowly business professor. <laughs> uh, but actually over the last few years I've been uh, involved in trying to, to bring a business school in, into the 21st century and, and in the process I, I got uh, really interested in the way we teach, uh, the way we learn, and um, in trying to change that because essentially uh, if you look at the classroom now uh, these days it's except for the shows present here in this room. Uh, it's not all that different from what it was in ancient Greece uh, around 2,500 years ago. You have a smart person in front of 30 or 50 people trying to impart knowledge to them. And, uh, you know, there's lots of problems with that. The, the first one is that it doesn't work very well. Uh, because actually listening to someone talk to you is not the best way to learn by, by, by far. Uh, and, and it's becoming less relevant because now you have Dr. Google uh, that you can ask questions all the time. Uh, and at the same time, it's becoming more and more important to, 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 to have our general population learn science. If you don't understand the state of science, you'll have a lot of trouble understanding what's going to happen in the world over the next 50 years. Even to be a, a, a conscious citizen uh, these days, uh, participating in pollution, not problems like too much CO2 in the atmosphere or too much plastic in the ocean, you need to know things about science, you need to trust scientists. Uh, and what really intrigues me is we now can use technology to do a much better job to, to let students learn at their own pace, to have peer-to-peer -peer learning, uh, to have project-based learning, to have lifelong learning, you know, and all these are buzzwords that I think we've heard for a long time, but now actually there's ways of making it happen, and uh, my funny name company, uh, Shaping Up Story, is involved in trying to, to bring that about. Cool. Thank you for that. <laughs> so,
we decided to bring it to, to Portugal and uh, it's thriving, it's growing and I thought that we need to bring this opportunity to teachers in Portugal to see what other teachers in Europe are doing. These are not just uh, you know, random teachers that we find every day. These are great teachers that are courageous and uh, moving completely outside of their comfort zone to make a difference so that you are making a big difference. So I thought, okay, I was, you know, someone asked me, would you like to organize a science of uh, in Portugal? And I said, no, no, no. I think you would be possibly to go, and I'm very happy that I accepted it. So not only we accepted to be the national coordinators of science on stage in Portugal, but also to organize this event, which is not our daily breakfast. It's something that we're doing just because we really would like Portuguese teachers to have this opportunity to be among, you know, so many brave and unique human beings. So that's why we are doing all of this. And we do have a national in the in the room. I'm not going to tell who it is because that is one of this is one of the challenges, but uh, we have an astronaut. Oh. Turn your back 
to your audience. They will do funny things with you. And the next step is, I got a little sparkles here. Oh, uh, this, is, uh, this is some magnesium. You, this is for you, this is for you. This is quite uh, uh, it, it's tough to do this because you have to move this little stick in the form of the sign on the paper. Yes, exactly. It's here because why is here? So this is turn to come over here. You have to stand the first one would be the first S. So you do and go. Rosa. Now Stephanie. Rosa. So you hold on. So the scientist is here. So um uh so why is here? We actually have to go more together because uh, things with fire are always good and you do it more together. <laughs> and uh, now we'll move this way, but now we'll turn our back to the audience. So, and so this will we'll do um, this shot um, over time. So like, like in four seconds. So all of you, please don't do this. We use the whole light out. Uh, and I'll come for a bit of noise of it. Yes, you can take a microphone. Any microphones here? Because there is a horse in here tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so, there's a fire. Oh yes, so what do we have to do? So if you have an S, so it's like the, the mirror one, just uh, look at it, like this, and then you will move your stick like this. Very fast, always moving it, yeah? But be, uh, be careful because uh, those sparkles, you know? So you have to be careful of Stephanie. Stephanie, you should watch here. It's so dangerous. <laughs> Are we standing, standing okay? Oh, could we could close the door, please? Close them and uh, <laughs> no one get out of here. Uh, you just go like high as your head, and then you move it around, yeah? But for you, you could try to, to try to make some flowers, <laughs> or stuff. In, in class I would say no penises, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I got to. So. Okay, okay, okay. Are you ready? So, I will enlighten now the sparkles. We got only 10 seconds on the experiment. No, no, it can be possible to sparkle, so only one second. So, uh, put them together to enlighten them. So, I have some very, I got one. Perhaps you can move it over here to enlighten them. Because we've never done it to enlighten them. Yeah, so we need to light them with the uh, puppet. Yeah. Okay, so now you go again. You take this one and. Yep. This is a hard experiment. Okay, so move it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Step on the I'm so sorry, this is the first time I'm going to get to the live on stage. Yeah, I look like it's all together now. So. Okay, next, next, next. It works. <laughs> 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 so, 
just look good. Thank you.
two times of text will not uh, look for it. Um, this is in question. Please come to the stage here. Um, so, sorry, we already mentioned that. Yeah. So, uh, please, um, thank you all for being out of the same podcast. Thank you to all the participants. Thank you to all the participants. And um, for our guests in here, please stay a while here, and there will be some short tours right around here. So, for you all, science and science festivals start now.